Hi guys, good to have you all back. We're doing Mass Make March. We're doing one of my favorite Mass Make projects ever. Now, if you've been with me on my channel for more than a second, you probably already guessed it. Uh, what are we doing? We're making labels. Did you really think I was not going to make labels? I love making these guys. Now, if you don't know, I'm going to show you. Look at this cute little box. Yes, I have this on my desk. Sort of a display. And these are some labels that I have not already, already used. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Made it into a dangle. Yes, double-sided. It's just the cutest. So, making labels. You can use them as a label. Make them in any size. I usually make them all in this size because I enjoy this. Uh, or as a tuck spot or an embell an, another embellishment as a tap. You can put add lots more and make them into clusters. This is not even decorated. Yes. So, label making. Labels. Yeah? If you have not made my labels yet... You're going to have fun, for sure. Okay, so, scraps. Get your scraps out. I'm going to show you the supplies that we are using. Um, and then I'm going to show you, in case you don't know, how you're going to make them. For papers, you need two different types of paper. You need something heavier, sturdier, like scrapbook paper or cardstock. Something, yes, not book page. And then you need something book page, like book page, newspaper, a uh, magazine, digitals, all sorts. I have all sorts. I even have a wine label um, in here. So heavier paper, light paper. That's what you need. For the measurements, you need a piece that is at least one and a half inches by three inches. So you can basically use the smallest um, piece of paper. This is three by one and a half. These are my measurements, but you can make them bigger or smaller. I'm going to explain later. Now, for the tools also, again, very basic. You need, you're going to need glue, glue of your choice, do whatever. And you need something, a cutting device, which could be scissors, um, ruler and a knife. I am probably going to use my paper trimmer. Now, if you have a paper trimmer or a paper cutter, that'll be fantastic because then you can also measure. Uh, if you don't have this, use your mat. Most of the cutting mats have some type of measurements on them or, you know, a ruler with measurements. You could try to eyeball it. I think that'll also work. Now, um, the other thing I'm going to use, I'm going to look at my labels. Some of them have rounded corners, hence my round, <laughs> rounding um, uh, corner rounder. Some have um, angled corners, like very small ones or bigger ones. Now, I happen to have a couple of tools that do this. Um, I have this one from Frasin Creative. It, it's a very good tool for this project. It makes angles in different sort of sizes. I also have a tool that is very overrated. Get, let me get it. Uh, the We Are Memory Keepers um, uh, Corner Chomper. It does the same as this. This is, well, twice as much <laughs> in money. And the angles are really, really small. Now, if you don't have either of these, you might have like an old credit card, a debit card, a plastic card. Now, this is sort of something where I made templates. These are for uh, larger tags, but I also made a small one. So you could use this. I probably use this one as a template to cut, to snip off your um, corners. Yes? A lot of work, but I think it's it's lovely. You can also have them straight, loves. Yes, no problem at all. So, um, inking, optional. Inking is optional. I, I did do some inking. Uh, and then for decorating, you can go all out, guys. To do whatever you want. Uh, some have another label on them. Some stamped uh, washi stickers. Sometimes the piece of paper that I put on top of it is just too lovely to decorate. Um, Rub-ons, I've used rub-ons, old fussy cuts advertisement pieces, uh, just a word, these, these are more rub-ons, poster stamps, of course. And you can label a label, a poster stamp and a label and um, a rub-on. What? Yes, you know. <laughs> so you can decorate them in all sorts. But what you can also do is leave them blank for now. That's actually really what mass making is all about. Make labels, leave them blank, put them away. And then when you're going to do a project, 
take them out and decorate it in any style uh, that you want or that you are working with. Is that it? Yes. So two types of paper, uh, heavy paper, light paper, scissors, uh, glue. That's all you need, basically. Okay. I have no clue how many I am making. Let's start cutting strips. We need strippies, two different sizes, from the heavier paper and from the lighter paper. For cutting my papers, I am using a paper trimmer. You can use any paper trimmer that you want, lovies. Deckled edge paper trimmer? No, oh, never tried it. Could It could work. So I'm using this because there are already measurements on them. Okay, I'm going to start with the first one. Now, I'm going to show you these, guys. Um, these were all made from scrapbook paper. Some that I really liked and some that are just not so pretty. Like this it has some foil. If you, I don't, don't know if you can see some foil in the back. I would never use this. But just as a small border um, all around, even this, see? Um, use it. Just use less love scrapbook paper if you have some or some, some pretty ones. Now, I also have some normal cardstock in here. Will work just as well. Yeah? So, I'm cutting strippies. I'm going to make this straight first, guys. I'm just going to lose this bit. Oh, you know what? Um... I'm going to cut it straight away at 3 inches. I want to cut strips that are 3 inches. Yes. By 1.5. Now, if you're going to do other measurements, do it. Uh, let's say you want um, 4 inches. Make them 4 by 2. Just divi divide the length by 2. And because the, those proportions work the best. Well, I think so. So if you're going to make them five, make them five by two and a half. If you're going to make them two, make them two by one. Yeah, so I'm going to make these three by one and a half. You could also use the back. This is double-sided uh, paper. See, I'm going to make many, many uh, lobbies. Also from the normal uh, uh, cardstock. Let me quickly measure this. This is more than uh, three inches. I am going to cut this as three inches. This is the length. And then I'm going to do one and a half. See, you can sort of mass make them. And I would uh, definitely advise cutting these papers, all of these papers first. And then the other batch. This is, is this three? Yes. So. Oh, that's a fantastic piece. Already three inches. I'm going to make a couple of each. Now, this you can just cut. Doesn't really matter what the print on it is. Just, just cut it. I'm going to cut this at three. For the other layer, the second layer that we're going to do on top. I'm going to be a little bit more... Meticulous? Is that a word? I think it's a word. Um, on uh, what I am cutting. So, I'll be cutting lots of strippies that are three by one and a half inches. Go do this. And then I'm going to take out the other pile. So, I've made 24. I don't need 24. I made way too much. Um, but you can keep them. And use them next time. That probably happened last time when I made labels. I made way too much of these. Then put them away. Most likely in a cute little box. Place it somewhere. No clue. <laughs> no clue. So don't make 24. That's a little bit much. Okay. I have my first layer. Now we're going to do the second layer. I'm going to take out one of my labels again. The first layer. Yes. That was the scrapbook paper. And then the second layer. As you can tell. It's the tiniest bit smaller. So here's what I'm doing. The second layer I'm going to make a quarter of an inch smaller in length and in width. So this was three. I'm going to make them two and three quarters. This was one and a half. I'm going to make it one and a quarter. Yes. And then when I glue it down, I'm going to glue it sort of in the center. So it will leave space all around and if you glue it down properly i didn't do it with this one um it will be the exact same amount everywhere i just think that looks amazing so we need strippies of paper that are two and three quarters by one and a quarter yeah perfect 
For cutting the second layer, I've taken out all sorts of paper, guys. Now I'm going to put them in two categories. I'm going to put them in the category, doesn't matter where you cut them, it's going to be a piece of paper. Or, for instance, this one. Let's see what we want. Because I really like Le Petit or Le Journal or something like this. So I'm going to sort of figure out how big this is and where I want to cut it. Uh, for instance, this has some um, writing on it. Just cut it. But if you want to have the flowers on, you're going to cut a little bit more precise. So I'm um, going to start with, with this piece of paper. Yes, I think I want the white edge. Well, do I? Yeah, I'm going to do the white edge. Um, I'm going to cut it first at one and a quarter. Well, first I'm going to cut this sort of raggedy edge. Here you go. Straight. One and a quarter. I am using the white sort of line on it. And then two and three quarters. See? Doesn't matter where you cut. It's going to be fine. But, for instance... Le Petit Journal. I have no clue how um, big the words are. I'm going to cut it straight first. Yes. Um, I'm going to cut this one off as well. Let's see if I am going to make this one and a quarter. That'll work fantastic. Yes. Okay. Uh, you could just cut it. Uh, but I really want to have journal. Le Petit Journal on here. Let's see. Goes here. Ooh, I'm going to lose the... No, it's... Oh, love. It's two and three quarters. It's going to be a tit journal. A tit journal. I don't care. But try to sort of figure out um, where you want it. Sometimes your image is more towards the center. Like this. Yeah, then you need to do way more cutting. <laughs> I really want... The brand name that is on here, on it. There you go. So, one and a quarter. That'll work. Cutting this off. Let's see if I'm going to do two and three quarters. That is fantastic. See, you need to do a little bit more cutting. If you want to, yes. I'm going to use this one as well so i'm gonna make strippies guys strippies of paper all sorts i have some ledger i have some encyclopedia a yahtzee scoreboard so this is from a scenographer some written paper i think this is just interesting take out some interesting piece of paper oh let me show you this one um because you can use a uh, printed well uh, designed paper or something with a photograph i'm gonna take off the small blue border here let's see if we want to cut this at one and a quarter that is fantastic yes and then two and three quarters um yeah i'm gonna leave the name of the flower on the top because why not why not Guys, you can use this. Put on a, a lovely blue, uh, well, purplish label or poster stamp and, and you're done. So you can also use this. Or just text. Works as well. Uh, and I need to make 24. Okay, I'll be right back. Two piles of strippies. I've even made more of these. I don't know. I was just cutting and uh, having fun. And then I was like, how many do I have? Way too many. So, <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be the fun part. Well, for me, what I'm, what I want to do is pair them up, pair them up, and I'm gonna look at sort of the colors that are on them. Now, some of the scrapbook paper and such that I use have uh, are double sided, and some are are single sided. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Take out some of your scrappies and just pair them up. Uh, I'm not gonna do all of them on on camera because that'll be a long, long time. Uh, well, some green in the background. Yes. See? Lovely. Some of them will be landscape and some of them will be... Let's do... Uh, or contrasting color. Portrait. So, like this and like this. Yes. This is some um, uh, pattern paper. 
that will look fantastic with the red. Black and white, I'm going to pair this with black and white. Isn't that interesting? It's just really interesting. Numbers. Mm. Yes, I have some map. I always use some map. Are you going to put the map with the map? Mm, that's a little bit much. A bit much. I really wanted a number on here, of course. There we go. Pair this with the text. Another piece of map. Oh, that's a lovely color, color to go with it. Some just sort of uh, normal colors. This is from a stenographer. Some of uh, some solid col colors. Oh, I just love this piece, guys. Look, it has a date on it and then the rusty imprint of a paperclip. Oh no, that looks amazing. Some black and white. Yes, I always use some music paper because that is just cool. Yes, some ledger has a little bit of red in it, so I'm going to pair it with the red. Oh, the wine label. Yep, from a botanical book. Mm, that washes it out. We have something bolder for this one. Yes, another piece of the wine label. Piece of green. Piece of green. Um, oh, from a bingo card. Oh, that looks cool. Bingo. And have some black and white here. And these, this is actually from a book with some technical what have yous. Some writing, some antique writing. Yes, let's pair this one. Did I make this too long? No. With this, I have this one. Le Petit Journal. I did, did cut this out for a reason. With this one. See, I have way too many. I uh, also have some Edith Holden. What else do I have left? I have this left. Or. No, oh, that's single sided. I really want to use the Edith Holden. Yes, see, I have loads left. I have loads left. So pair them up. Yeah? Because um, some of them I want to have rounded corners or snipped corners. So if you, oh I'm gonna ha I have two left. If you have all your color your pieces rounded or snipped, then you need to pair them up. Then sometimes you miss out on opportunities. Yeah. So that is why I'm gonna pair them up. I had some left. See. Um, before I do the corner snipping and such. This goes here. Antique book page. There, I have one left. I have one left. What are we gonna do? This one, yeah. Okay. Corner rounder, jumper, or your this and scissors. Now it doesn't matter if you do them all with rounded corners, all straight, or with snipped corners. Do whatever. Now here's what I do. I Pair them up, yes. Put them if you're gonna use this, or if you're gonna use any advice, uh, any device, because we really want the corners on the smaller piece and the uh, bigger piece to be the exact same. Just taking out my corner chomper thingy here. There we go. Here's one in the other corner. This is a little bit time consuming. Consuming, lovies, I know. Um, but it will look amazing. See, because when we now put it like so, it looks like a fantastic label that Michelle from the Junk Journal Studio could have made. Let's do one with a rounded corners. And now this is especially nice if you're using, because this is very thin paper. If you use thin paper in, um, your corner rounder or jumper or what have you, um, so I'm going to do seven. Uh, it will eat it. But if you're going to pair it up with something heavier. 
then it'll be fine. First time I made labels, I did every piece, single piece, uh, individually. Yeah, that took me a long time. Now I do it. Now I pair them up. It will still take you a long time, but it will look fantastic. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do all of them off, off camera, guys. So, rounding corners, snipping corners, even using, uh, if you have this, this, or just eyeball it, or keep them straight. And then we're going to do inking. Uh, I am going to choose one color, probably, for all of them. So, I'm thinking frayed burlap. That'll work best. Now, I'm going to cut all of them and ink all of them, because that's boring to watch, right? And a lot of work. So, I'm going to do all of this. And I'll be back in a jiffy. So I'm back. I do not know how long a jiffy actually is. You're probably going to let me know. Okay, guys. Um, did all of them. Inked all of them. Also already did some gluing. But let me show you how I glue. Yes, very exciting. You can use any glue, guys. Use your um, glue stick. Or I'm just going to do this. Because I do not want to take out um, a glue page or anything. However... I will try to center them on the other label. Uh, probably glue stick would be, you know, better for this. If you want to move them about. But if you're quick, it will work. There you go. Now some of them will be portrait. And some of them will be landscape. Yeah. But that's quite all right. Use them accordingly or, you know, just ignore the background and your focal point will sort of um, be your direction. Yep. The lovely ledger. Um, some of the lovely labels that I've already glued on are just too beautiful to do anything with. They're just done. They could be done, lovies. Also, because we're doing mass makes. Um, just leave them as they are. And then take them out and decorate them accordingly. Yeah? Ooh. Okay. Well, it's both music paper. There we go. Lovely plain background, but that's quite all right. And the last one. See, like this one. I will add a little bit to it, but not a lot. Probably I'm going to... Look for something purple, of course. Small little purple label or something. Oh, Michelle made the purple labels. Maybe I can find something um, from Michelle. There you go. So, I have loads. Um, for instance, this one. It is just too gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to add anything to it. Here. Well, maybe a small little yellow label. But some of them, they don't need a lot of decorating. And some of them do whatever with. I'm going to take out all my bits and bobs, lovies. And then we're going to do some decorating. So I've taken out some stuff. Uh, for sure, poster stamps. I have, uh, well, just grabbed poster stamps. You can do some stamping. I've taken out uh, entomology. It, no, must studies. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Because also it has some lovely of these small ones here. I have some random washi stickers that I have lying about. I have some numbers. I do not do not even remember. Well, it's probably from a game or something. Small little cards with numbers on them. So I have a couple of these out. I have... Um, I've had these for ages, guys. And I really like them. So I might use some of this. I have some tickets out. Use small parts of it. Some rub-ons. This is um, some labels. And these are my sticker labels. Enough, enough. But do whatever. Loves, do whatever. Okay, let me start with this one. Um, I was looking for a small... Let me zoom you in a little bit. There we go. Something purple. You could also ignore the purple and add something green. So I went through Michelle's um, labels. The, new, the labels days come by. She has some lovely pastel colors. Do I have some ink left? Yes. And I think this will look lovely. It's too big. Yes. Well... You could let it stick out and have this more as sort of a cluster. I am not going to. I'm actually going to cut it down. However, I will have this. I'm just going to glue it on and then cut it. Um, overlap the green. 
in the background. Because why not? Then I need to do some more inking. I know, but that's quite all right. Add glue. There you go. Ta-da. This is on double-sided paper. You could also decorate the backs of these, like I did with this one. Just, it's still my favorite. I really love this one. Um, so you can have it as a dangle um, on the spine of your journal or um, on a tab. Or it's just lovely. But for now, I'm just going to do them single-sided. See? There's one. Ta-da. The Edith Holden one. Do I have yellow labels? Well, Michelle has the yellow labels. However, um, they are... Very soft yellow, and I want something a little bit brighter. I don't think I have any in here. Maybe in here. Yellow poster stamps? Yes, that's an anomaly. <laughs> Ooh, should we do one of those? Yeah, do we have something that is bigger in that color? No? Well, I'm then gonna do one of those. I am not going to stamp something on it, but you could stamp something on it. Lots of questions. Where did you get? What digital kit is this? This is not a digital kit, guys. This is something that I bought from a friend of mine on Instagram. She makes lovely uh, labels uh, printed out on um, sticker sheets. And you can buy them on Instagram. She is Dutch. Her name is Sandra. And her uh, Instagram is oh, just look for old made awesome. That's her normal account, and there, there she will have a link to her um, shop. It's not a real shop, it's just someone that sells stuff on Instagram. Ooh, just simple, effective, love it. Now, for this one, no, just no, it is way too beautiful. I'm going to keep it as is. Same with this, do we want to add maybe... Oh yes, let's do... Uh, well, I'm using your labels again, Sandra. Sometimes I use them all the time, and other times I just forget I have them. Don't use them as much. But you could also do, if you have a printer, um, and you have Michelle's digitals, print them on a big sticker sheet, yes, 2-2 two -two page. So you have the smaller ones. That'll be fantastic as well. I'm going to flip this one over. Yes. Done. See? Quick. Easy. Let's do something different with this one. Um, a post-it stamp. Maybe in... Ooh. Lovely red color. Perfect color. And I'm going to add another thing. Art's not having it today. There we go. It's a bit much. What else? There's some grayish blue in here. Do I have... Do I have something? Yes with a little bit of text on it. Oh yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on. Straight, that'll be lovely. There we go, see, simple. Love this one. <coughs> Sort of very masculine. Now you can go um, two ways with this one. Keep it masculine or add, add, for instance. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. No nails. Tulips on them. It will just make it look interesting. <laughs> I also have some black and white sort of florals. I think I'm going to do this. And then add a label. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to cut some stuff off. You could use this on another one. This piece, why not? Do we actually want this piece? No. 
I'm going to do this one. Yes. Too much plastic on the top. So I'm actually keeping this. Oh, I just, I don't, really don't enjoy these uh, stickers. You guys keep telling me to add a matte medium on it to, uh, well, have remove the shine. And I think that'll probably work. But I also think, come on, oh, now I've taken off of the paper. But I also think that's a lot of work. Label, I'm going to, do we add a pop of color or do we just keep it monochromatic? No nails. There we go. We are going to keep it monochromatic or just black and white. We're going to do this. Ooh, yes, we're going to do this. Really cool. Do you want to do another one? Oh, yeah, this one. Very, very plain. So you can, you know, do a lot to this. But what? I have some rub-ons. These are from Stamperia. Already used some of those. Let's see. I have some. Oh, that could be really pretty, right? Make up your mind, love. Yes, I'm going to do this one. It is too big, I know. I'm gonna take off this small little post stamps that I need to use today. Yeah. How much are we going to lose? A little bit, but it will work itself out. Oh, already love it. Uh, I don't think we're going to lose anything. Um, I'm using my pencil. Use any sort of blunt object, uh, lovies. I just like using pencil because um, it's quick. For me, it's quick. And also, can I can tell where I've been <laughs> with the rubbing. Now, the paper that is underneath is, uh, well, grid paper. Um, it is vintage, it is older, but I, I don't think I'm going to have any problem with the rub-ons not staying on the paper. I think, I think it will work. But I could be mistaken, yeah, because I've never tried a rub-on on this paper. So far, so good. Shh, don't say that out loud, see? Oh, they smell so nice. I was talking to my friend yesterday about the rub-ons and told her they smell so nice. <laughs> she said, really? I haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, yes. Doesn't need anything else. It's just lovely. I'm going to smell it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It has a citrusy smell to it. Well, done. Let's do this one. Another rub-on? Oh, yes. Let's do another rub-on. So I did uh, Big Ben. Yes, Big Ben. Let's do the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I need to cut a little bit off. Just here on the side. And I'll probably use somewhere else. Because it's a nice little sort of scripty. A scripty bit. There we go. Okay. Now, these rub-ons are already sort of a collage, so it doesn't need anything else. Now, I, I did put it on, <laughs> on old paper. Yes. The paper are um, numbers from... I don't even know the Dutch words. Logaritme is logic, whatever. These rows of columns of numbers that they use in um, on a ship. Yes, for navigating. I think I don't even know. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I find them. 
also uh, latitude and longitude sort of style yeah I just love them just numbers 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 there we go does it work on this paper it does it's not antique it's not that old but it is fantastic I have this uh, which is a sewing pattern. Let, let's just add um, a lovely lady uh, to it. Where are my ladies? There we go. Uh, something blue. And red. Done. See? Just done. Where's my pokey tool? Here. There we go. Is your head on? Yes. Are your feet on? Yes. Well, then we're good to go. We need one label. I think this is the perfect color. It's sort of the blue in the background. Now I'm not a seamstress, but look look at all the lines here. I mean, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to, honestly. <laughs> Book number seven ten. Cute, right? Very, very. <clears throat> this is a map. Already has a number on it. Let's not add another number. I think we're going to add a post-it stamp. That's a big one. Smaller post-it stamp. Something in the blue. Oh, yes. Let's add King... Uh, what's his name? Edward or George? I don't know. From England. And various other parts of the world. Because this is from New Zealand. Are we done? We're done. We are done. A map. I'm thinking another post stamp. do like the colors what else do we have and a boat yes because you know there's ocean here I'm gonna flip this one over Republic of France You want to add a number? Yes. However, I'm going to distress the number a little bit. Yeah. I have them out, so why not use them? Oh, yeah, that is cool. Now it says Republic of 28. <laughs> That's a small Republic, right? Yeah. Ooh, love that one. Love that one. Um, botanicals. What? What do we want with the botanicals? More botanicals? Oh, I had this one. No, that, not that one. No, that needs to be on a... A, a, a like so. Is that too much? Adding another botanical to... The botanical, I think it is. I think it is, love. Okay, I'm going to take out a label, a small label. That says something about botanical. Mm -hmm. Too big, needs to be smaller. Could 
good work. No goods. Okay, well, sorry. Um, num, num. Lots of specimen uh, stuff, but they're way too big. I'm, I think I'm going to stick with this one. I am, however, inking it for a little bit. There you go. This part is lovely grungy, so I might put it... No, no love, you're not going to put it over here. You're going to put it over here. Am I going to snip something off? Yeah. There we go. Cool. cool. Um, another one with botanicals. And I'm just gonna add. Uh, do you want to add blue? Blue. Well, I have blue here. A big one. See, easy as peasy. Oh, another masculine one. Shall we keep this sort of masculine because of... I don't even know what it is. The inside of... Let's say it's the inside of a radio. Mm -hmm. Black and white poster stamps. Oh, what is this? Oh, interesting. Oh, Yes. But I actually do not want to have the blue on here. So shall we re remove the blue? We shall. I'm sorry, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, there were two of those. Well, okay. <laughs> yes. An ink it. Very interesting poster stamp, see? Yes, masculine! With plain and, I don't know, it looked like military people. Yes? Anything else? Uh, I have tiny, tiny, tiny labels somewhere. Oh. Well, Hoping I still have the tiny, tiny labels on. Oh, yes. Look. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Keep it in frame, love. Numbers. Just a couple of numbers. Yes. Put it over here. Cool, right? Yeah. I have to, I think, will be very nice to stamp on. Uh, because I have my stamps out, why not? So I'm going to take out moths. Yeah. One. And a smaller one. Oh, I think it's going to be awesome. I think so. I need something underneath though, because... This is going to go off page for the tiniest bit. Go back in here. I might add a pop of color. However, I'm going to stamp these in uh, Fallen Leaves from First Fine Claire. There we go. Oh yeah, awesome. The brown here and the brown there. Fantastic. However, I'm not going to do uh, fallen leaves with this one. You're not? No. Let me take out morning mist. There's sort of a grayish background and grayish sort of writing on here. So I'm doing morning mist, which is also grayish. Well, it's not grayish. That's just gray. <laughs> really gray. There you go. Fantastic. 
you're going to keep them as is. Miniature labels. Let's see. Lots of pinks in here, but I do not need pinks. I have more of these numbers. Oh, that is cool. I'm taking out black soot because I do not want to add any brown to this one. These might even be stickers. I'm not even going to bother myself with it. <laughs> add this here. With every label I make, I'm like, oh yeah, that's my favorite. But I have a couple more to go. Oh, yeah. How about this one? Yes. Yeah. I will use brown for this. There we go. Cool, right? I think I want to finish them all. So I paired everything up. I have this one. A teat journal. Uh, instead of petite journal. Um, I'm just going to add uh, a label. In the lovely brown color. Because it's already really, really lovely. I'm going to put it here. See? Done. And this one. With a bingo card. Lovely numbers. I'm just going to put a label on a label. Going to double label it. Why not? I am, however, going to ink the edges up a little bit. Are you going to put the whole thing on or just... I think it's too big. It's actually too big. Need a smaller label, please. Do not detach. Oh, yes. Do not detach. Because I want more numbers visible on here. Yes, oh yes, that works way better for me. There we go. Tada. Yes, what else do we have? I have this one. Again, this is a portrait, which means straight up. And I have a lovely washi sticker and a small number. Come on, you can do it. Perfect use of washi sticker for this project. Yeah, and then... Oh no, I'm going to put 13 on the top. Oops! There we go. What else do we have? Uh, some rub-ons. This is like um, a, a spelling law. So you need to spell it like this. Rules for spelling. Yes, from 1947. Uh, I think they have changed quite a bit. I am going to cover up, however, 1947. I know, weird, right? Yes. Uh, but I really want the word spelling. I don't know what it's called. Spelling sweat. It's like, this is the way you spell a word. That the government has decided. But they change it all the time. There you go. And I put books next to it. Because I thought it was sort of, you know, appropriate. Tada. Let's do some more rub-ons. I have some lovely red uh, sort of vintage writing on here. So I have a red bicycle that you can also ride. Yay! <laughs> there we go. See, mixing the old with the new is just lovely. You could add uh, another label. Something more in black, but the backgrounds also with some black script. So... I think it will be fine. This is, however, very old paper. 
Um, but it worked. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Okay. I know this is landscape. Probably like this. I don't know. I don't read music. But I'm going to just flip it. I'm going to be a rebel and flip it. And I'm going to put something very bright and colorful on it. Tulips. It is the time for tulips. I do have some in my garden. I am Dutch after all. <laughs> um, like so, like so. You're going to do this? Ooh, probably. And then I'm going to add just a tiny label. Sort of the pinkish reddish color of one of the tulips. And there we go. Yes. Lovely. What else do I have? More botanicals. Green. There's lovely green on here. I have two sort of washi stickers. One is for, I think, an advertisement of something. Good for face value. Merchandise coupon. Not transferable. Okay, wow. Well. well, we're not going to transfer it anyway. Um, I'm going to put this on first. There we go. And then I'm going to add this one. There you go. You can layer the washi stickers. Yeah, why not? Why not? I got this in Happy Mail a while ago. They're really cute. Hardly ever use my washi stickers. I'm sorry, can you hear my stomach growling? Yes, it's lunchtime. Lunchtime! go cute um another one with a wash sticker now this is a big wash stick it doesn't fit i'm just gonna use part of it there's no rule that says you need to use the whole sticker no i'm gonna just do this this would look weird right but yes probably not gonna use it any other plate. Oh, I still need to cut off a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. There we go. Yes. Flipping it over. Well, why not? Does it need maybe, maybe a tiny little Something with the pink. December 1982. Well, well, is this 1980? I think it's more 70s, right? Yes, that's not 1982. Also not 1938. Lots of dates. Keep this coupon. No. I thought I just, you know, came prepared. But now I just want to add. Yes, I want to add this. <laughs> I thought the sticker would be enough, but apparently it doesn't, so it needs a this. Yes? Two more, lovies, two more. Beautiful uh, sort of stenographer writing. The question is, are we going to do the rub on first and then the label? Yeah. A big balloon. There we go. Does it need a label? You can put a label elsewhere. Yes, I'm going to put it over there. Is that upside down? Might be, I don't know, guys. I have no clue what this says. Do you? Oh, it says lovely. That's what it says. And then the last one. I had two uh, pieces of Robbons left. This is a little bit of script. And this is a small poster stamp. I absolutely love this one. Because it has an imprint of um, a rusty paperclip. 
and a date from 1963. So I was thinking just to add a little bit of this here. I know it's on its side, but I don't really mind. Just add a little bit here. And then the color of the poster stamp sort of mimics the color of the rusty um, paper clip. Oh, that doesn't look half bad. Where, where's, where's the? I can't find it anymore. Where are you? Honestly, you're all screaming. It's over there. Oh, it's underneath. It was underneath. Yes, I'm gonna put this here in the corner. A rub-on of a poster stamp, as if I don't have enough real poster stamps, but no. This with this, not this small. Well, I have some that are really, really small. Come on. Oh, yes. See, something really simple. Done. I did all of them. Like 25 or something. <laughs> Let me show you the end result, guys. I made 25. What? Yes, made 25. I'm going to show you all of them while I'm doing this. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing this Friday. Well, not really. Um... What I asked you guys, guess what project I will be doing for Mass Make March. And I was sort of thinking about labels, this project. But most of you guys actually guessed a completely different, well, not a completely different project, but another project. And then all of you, yes, there were two or three of you that says, said labels. And all the other ones, all of you guys said something else. And that's what I'm doing this Friday. So most of you now by now know what I'm doing. It's going to be a similar project. Very, very fun one. I do agree with you guys. Um, uh, with your guesses. Yes, that's also a favorite of mine. Love this one. Yes, they're all really, really cute. I have so, so many. I need to start using them. But I love them so much that I actually don't want to use them. This is just a rub-on, guys. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing this Friday. This Friday is the last Mass Make March um well, because it's not March anymore. Yeah. And um, while I'm showing this, I'm also going to tell you, this weekend is Easter weekend. Well, we are Dutch. We celebrate Easter two days. So uh, it's Easter on Sunday. And then we also celebrate Easter on Monday. So it is a holiday for us. I will have a video out this Monday. But it's going to be a sort of a shorter one. Not a uh, um, big project. I'm going to do a sort of a show and tell. What have I done during the month of March? So I'm going to show you all the little projects that we made. Uh, and I'm going to explain what we're doing for April. And also I'm going to introduce my new kit for the month of April. I think you're going to love it. I didn't do anything to this. Because already really really pretty. Yes. So. But there's going to be another project tomorrow guys. Look the bicycle. Just cute right. Yeah. Oh yes. The moths. I forgot I had those. They're really really cool. So guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make some yourself. Right. Okay. I'll be back again. This Friday. With the last Mass Make March project. Until then. Bye guys.